This is the eighth ever episode of the BitPad recorded on the 22nd of October 2017. The official sponsor of the BitPad for the month of October is Blake Badcock. Hello there and thank you to all of our Patreon supporters on patreon.com slash the BitPad. They get a massive deluxe version of the show um, more than a few days early. They do. That's really good. And we've got a brand new Patreon patron in Gurks. Good old Gurks. Good old Gurks. He's given up his sausage roll money for the month. <laughs> so thank you, mate. We love it. Last week, the Sea Pig said, Bradders, he's not dead. <laughs> Neither are you, Sea Pig. Actual fat. Hashtag fat. Uh, neither are you, Sea Pigs. Good to see you, mate. Twelve twenty two says after watching Bradadas uh, sweep Bruce in the first game, it was oddly satisfying to see him have to work through the Pokemon names while Bruce got most of them without any effort. <laughs> uh, that was great. Um, it, I, I enjoyed that. Oh, he was he was dark on those Pokemon, wasn't he? He was because he couldn't. He, he just couldn't put logic together because it's like logical word, logical word, or logical sound, logical sound. Strange Pokemon name. Weird Pokemon name that doesn't <laughs> actually make a word. How do you do with the um the the catchphrase the the got a catchphrase them all Pokemon quiz? Do you do all right at that? Um, not too bad. Yeah. Yeah, they were a bit difficult last week, so we mm. might rain them in. Some, some of your pictures are a bit left field too. Sometimes. Ah, <laughs> yeah, it's got to keep you like, toes <laughs> like, like at a stretch, it makes the sound you want it to make. <laughs> uh, Kija says best episode. That's good. I'll let Spud know that, that he's yeah, been knocked off the Yeah, been knocked off the number one. And Gurks, our new Patreon supporter, says, I love the ever-living shit out of Gotta Catch Phrase Them All. <laughs> nice to see Brad not giving in on his zoop dreams as well. So that's good. Somebody's got to keep it alive. <laughs> I don't know why, but somebody does. Let's do a show. Hello there. On this week's show, Mario Kart Double Dash. Who wants to go first? Me. <laughs> oh, oh wow that was gross oh that's, that's very graphic that mm-hmm. i apologize let's a play It's the bit pad and welcome to it. It's a me, Masrio. I'm really sorry. Joining a me on the desk today. Flatulence is his middle name and sweet sweet cash is his game. It's Wario time. Yeah, Brucey. Wow. How you doing, man? I bet you can't keep that up all show. I bet I can. <laughs> I bet you can. <laughs> uh, you should do the whole show. As Wario. No! <laughs> perfect, perfect. And I guess this week, she's been baking cakes as poor compensation for all my heroics. It's a Princess Peach! Hello! Hello! <laughs> AKA Nat from Nintendo by Numbers. Yes, How are you? I'm good, thank you. Do you enjoy my cakes? You know, they could they could be better. You've made... Oh, thanks! Yeah, you've That's made why it takes so long to get you from the castle. Oh, yeah, it's like, I, I, could do a, I could do a few worlds before I head straight to Bowser's castle. Because, you know, it's it's always the same recipe. We need to work oh, on... I won't make you any more cake then. <laughs> we need to work Done. on that cake recipe so he gets out of the, his house faster and I can get to his loot faster. <laughs> that's, how it, that's how it works. Um, you're from the all Nintendo podcast, Nintendo yes, by Numbers. that's right. Yep. It's every week. Yes, every week. And it's a different topic every week. Just what yeah. suits you. Yeah, exactly. It's pretty much just whatever game we've been playing for that week. So mm-hmm. we always try and play the newest games that have come out and have a chat about them on the podcast. And you've just started doing some uh, other videos on Facebook as well. That's yeah. Uh, outside of the podcast. Mm. Too much Nintendo content to fit into the podcast. <laughs> so Eric does things called the Easy Bits. Mm-hmm. And they're basically all other Nintendo bits and pieces that we don't talk about on the podcast. That he just likes to cover. So if something comes out, he'll just go and record it and um, let everyone know what's going on in the world of Nintendo, basically. That's great. You should check it out on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Nintendo by Numbers. If you haven't already noticed, we're all very dolled up because Odyssey comes out today and also it's Halloween weekend. Oh, it is. So we've got some spooky mini games coming up. Uh, But first, Nat Eric, the other half of Nintendo by Numbers, thrashed Brucey 31 to 14 on his show. How do you think you'll go? Um, 
Hopefully I can do that too. Mm -hmm. uh, Hopefully you can, uh, <laughs> you can do what he didn't do and beat me at Mario Kart. Yeah. I will beat you at Mario Kart, yes. Good. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's time to test your buzzers. That's really good. And Brucey? Oh, yeah. It's Wario time. It's, Wario time. it's always <laughs> Wario time. It's time for the Super Battle News. A Japanese flyer has been captured by Pokemon fan site Cerebi and reveals what information about the new Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon games? Brucey. Exclusive Pokemon. It is the exclusive Pokemon. Some that appear exclusively to Sun are Houndoom, Rufflet, and Alolan Vulpix. And Moon is getting Drampa, Vullaby, and Manectric, among a bunch of others. I hadn't seen that. That I don't know. I Therefore, didn't know that was a thing. It, it is a thing. Ooh, there you go. <laughs> and uh, there's so many new Pokemon, I just, I, I find it hard to care. Mm. Yeah, I, I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm struggling now. Struggling to keep on the Pokemon. The, the wagon. Mm. Yeah. How about yeah, you same. now? What's your gen? Um, probably after Ruby yep. is kind of when I, like I've got them all, but I kind same. of stopped playing them yeah. after that. Now it's just like ingrained in you. You've got to mm. catch them all. You've got yeah. to collect all the games. Doesn't mean I'm going to play them. Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> Isn't that strange? Like, I'll, I'll get Ultra Moon Sun, whichever one, when it comes out, but I probably won't play it. Yeah. Just add it to the collection. <laughs> I'm not even going to unwrap this one. Yeah, well, I've got some of those that I haven't unwrapped. <laughs> that's amazing. Well, they are worth the most. <laughs> A retailer in Portugal may get into some hot water for doing what over the weekend? Well, yeah. Is it something to do with Super Mario? <laughs> it is. It is to do with Super Mario Odyssey's uh, breaking Super Mario Odyssey's street date. And selling it early. Oh. oh! Oh, a whole week early. Piracy! A lucky chap in Portugal has posted a picture of his copy of the game that I cannot wait for. Uh, but it does come out today, so it's fine. I've already got it. By the time you're seeing this, <laughs> there will be no more shows after this because I'll be playing Odyssey. That's not true. He will be doing shows. Are you going to the midnight launch to get it? Absolutely. Yeah. I'll be there Yeah, too. okay, that saves me a trip on my <laughs> lunch break. Didn't, didn't I didn't even, even know it was a thing. thing. <laughs> he was there. <laughs> launch? <laughs> yes, oh, that's really good. And speaking of Odyssey, released today, what power does Cappy the Magic Hat give Mario on his adventure? Odyssey oh, yeah. him possess all the things the cup lands on. <laughs> Possession <laughs> is correct. And there'll be more spooky stuff to be had later in the show, but first, let's get Hidden Roster Spotter and some ads out of the way. First to buzz in gets first crack at filling in the character select screen for Mario Kart Double Dash. There'll be a point for your character and a bonus point for their partner if you can get that. Who wants to go first? Me! Matt, <laughs> 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 nah, who would you like? Um, I would do Toad and Toadette. To what? Smashing them already. That's two points. <laughs> Yay. Brucey, over to you. Oh, I hate Double Dash. Um, Give me one. Let's go with Mario. Mario for a point and for his Surely partner. he's with Luigi. That's correct. Matt, over to you. Uh, baby Mario and baby Luigi. Yes, Ooh. again. Ooh, Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong? Let's drag the show out a little slower. So give me one. Brucey? <laughs> Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong is correct. And his partner? It'd have to be Diddy Kong, surely. It is, absolutely. Nat. Um, I'm going to go Peach and Daisy. Peach! We'll go again. Mm. Just give me one. Yeah. Peach. <laughs> Otherwise the show will be four minutes long. <laughs> <laughs> Nat, over to you. Yeah, all right. So me, Peach. How did we not get that earlier? Know, Absolutely. Right? Peach. And who is her partner? And part? her partner is Daisy. Daisy. I should have done bonus points for their power-up, but Ooh. I'm not going to. Oh. Do you know their power-up? Uh, they had the hearts. They did. I hated that one. I, I was wondering, know. like, if you got hit by something, then you would have it. Mm, like that's right. Yeah, it. yeah. We've never seen that in a Mario Kart since, probably because it's an awful power. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> Brucey, over to you. Talking double dash. Um, the only Mario Kart I didn't actually really play. Mm. Uh, King Boo. King Boo. Mm. What a guess. Would have to be there. Do you know who his partner was? I don't. For the steel. I think it was Piranha Plant. PD Piranha. Yeah. Yep. Absolute. And over to you, Nat. Um, ooh. Uh, Bowser? Bowser is absolutely. He's a staple. And Do, who is his, be his son, Bowser Jr. Bowser Jr. Their power was Oh. A giant shell. Oh, like, that's mm, right. Yeah. Oh, it's just it was like, everything. Oh, it was pretty mm. pretty good. I loved it. Brucey, over to you. Uh, 
Well, let's go with some of the staples. Yoshi. Yoshi is. Who's his partner? Mm -hmm. Here's a hint. If you saw the last week's show, Brad was looking for him in Mario Kart. It's got to be Birdo. Mm -hmm. It is Birdo. Just two lads. One of them likes to wear lipstick. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Nope. Over to you now. Okay, I'm gonna go Wario. Wario. Oh, that, that's your job. Give us a give us a good Wario. Wow. Yeah, nice. And his partner. And his partner is Waluigi. <laughs> My favourite thing. Yeah. <laughs> no, I will call him a thing because. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna, I should have. I should have come as him. You should have. That would have been good. Oh well. When he gets his own game. If he gets his own game. When. <laughs> when does, it's a matter of when. <laughs> Brucey, over to you. Koopa Trooper? Koopa Trooper is, yes. Blah, blah, blah. And who's his partner? Is it the Paratrooper? It is, correct. Isn't that interesting? Could have been a Goomba, could have been. Yeah, it's weird that they chose the Paratrooper out of mm. everything. Probably just easier to recolor. Yeah. Wax some wings on it. <laughs> yeah. Probably. <laughs> the modeling department, just, just whip us together a Paratrooper. Will Quick, it? we need another one. How about Koopa Trooper and uh, Paratrooper? Whoa. That's gonna take no no no, we'll just reskin it. <laughs> just reskin it. <laughs> Nat. The Ooh. last the last two. The last two. Oh wow. Um No. I don't think there's any left. I think oh. we're done. D you said Diddy? Yep. Yep. Deeks and Diddy. And just in case you didn't, and his partner? Say Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong is correct. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember whether we did that or not. We did, but we did it again, just to be thorough. <laughs> just to be thorough. And in case, it was also Baby Mario and Baby Luigi. So we're pretty sure Nat got that. I think I don't so. Remember. I, think I believe Nat, yeah. Nat did get that one. I think so. Oh, our memories today, guys. We're too excited about Odyssey. <laughs> exactly. Mm. Point check. Nat, 10 points. Yay. Pretty good. And only inching ahead by one. Brucey on 11. <laughs> uh, we'll see you after this break. <laughs> Ah, Nat, mm -hmm. welcome to the break, guys. Um, what, and thank you for your support on the internets. Um, Nat. Yes. Mario Odyssey mm -hmm. actually comes out at the end of next week. We're shooting this early, guys. Spoiler alert. <laughs> TV happens. It's not live. Yeah, it's not yeah. live. Um, what are you most excited about for Odyssey? Assuming you are. Oh, I am. I'm super excited. Correct. I mean, I love... Um... Super Mario 64 and Sunshine. Mm. They're like two of my favourite games. So pretty much been waiting 15 years know, right? for another game Has like been that this. Long? So 15 years since Far Sunshine out. came so, out. So many new Super Marios mm. and new Super Marios U and Luigi versions of that. And <laughs> yep. A two and a half <laughs> D, 3D worlds and stuff, mm. which are great. Yeah, yeah, they are, but they're, but not, they're not. But it's they're not, not like the same. Sunshine. It doesn't. Yeah, it's like, yeah stop, exactly. Stop putting flagpoles in the games. I just want to explore. <laughs> and yeah, 15 years, it's finally, finally mm -hmm. here. Um, the Cappy feature aside, the uh, capture, capture, oh, I just got it. I just got it. Cappy, oh, Cappy capture. capture. <laughs> oh my God, there kill me. Go. <laughs> um, that power aside, what are you most excited about? I'm just, I like the fact that you can take pictures in the game yeah. and like send them to your phone and use them as your wallpaper. That like, is that's pretty, pretty cool. That's pretty nifty. And you can kind of like tweak them and change backgrounds and stuff like that. The filters. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Yeah, I I'm think I'll be really doing... excited for I that. Think, <laughs> I think my Instagram will... Guess what's coming to all of Nat's social media. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. that's all that will be, me taking pictures. But no, I'm really looking forward as well to just exploring this massive world that they have been and collecting yep. on the moon, so... Just a bit Breath of the Wild of fun. feeling mm -hmm. like just... Spending hours and hours and hours just going, what's over there? Exactly. Yeah. I played yeah. about 150 hours of Breath of the Wild, mm. so I'm hoping I will get the same amount of time out of Odyssey. I mean, nice. we've got two new worlds as well. So. Two new worlds? Yeah. What do you mean? So that, what's that put us at? 15? I think well, so. 13 oh, wow. or 15? Good Lord. What <laughs> are those worlds? I don't know. Oh. But they <laughs> were hint they were, they've been hinted at that there's two new worlds, um, but nobody... I need one, to look into ones it that they more. haven't announced. A new one, yet. yeah, yeah. All right, that's great. I've actually tried to um, not seen any yeah. spoilers, and so I'm yeah. like keeping away from just like, all sort of gameplay that yeah. you know, like yeah. just so that house, is a surprise and you do enjoy that. it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, yeah. I, I did keeping away from it all. I broke and I did watch that treehouse um, 
Like, what, what was it? The um, Nintendo World Champions. Oh, yeah. No, I didn't the, watch that. The last either. round of that was three <laughs> levels from Odyssey. And I watched oh. them. And they only showed small segments, kind of like speedrun style stuff. And I'm just, it just got me super hyped because mm. what they showed without saying anything, so you don't worry, um, just showed off uh, some more of the 2D mm. stuff. Yeah. But it was 2D and 3D stuff, and you had to like work the puzzle out together. Oh, wow. So that was mm. really nifty. It's not just here's a 2D bit, here's the 3D here's bit. Here's a 3D it was bit. Like, it's... These two part, these two. Um, mechanics work together to get a puzzle to, get, to yeah. work out a puzzle which was really cool mm. um one of the boss fights looked really nifty um i think they're going to do some amazing stuff and i'm very mm. excited yep me too <laughs> <laughs> it's really cool brucey is there anything that stands out in the game that you're excited about or is it just just give it give it all to i me? just want to play it yeah mm. i just want it in my hands <laughs> um which is going to be a real struggle being at pax yeah and mm. not having it until i get back yep yep, yep. So you've, that's you've, four days. I would have had it finished. You would have had it finished. finished. You would have, yeah. You waste well, no time. The way I play things, I would have had it finished in those four days. But um, yeah, I'm I'm just keen to get my hands on it. It'll give me a break from Stardew Valley. Ooh, um, okay, so that's fun. Let's talk about Stardew and I, Valley. And I get to, and I get to touch um, Skyrim on the Switch. On the Switch, yeah, oh. that'll be exciting. We'll nice. talk, so yep. that'll be exciting. Talk to you about all of that. Um, we'll talk about that two shows a bit later on. Two, shows, two from shows from now. Not next week, because I will actually, actually be, be at PAX. PAX. Two shows from um, now. We'll two shows that. from now. With your big PAX debrief. Mm. Um, let's Fuck. talk Stardew Valley. Mm -hmm. did, did you get into that? Yes, I got it on the PC when it first came out. Right. So I've already played through it, finished it, did everything you could in the game, pretty yep. much. And, and then it came out on the Switch. I'm like, I have to get it again. You have to? Yes. And are you as addicted to it as, as back in the day? Probably not the first time through. Yep. But it's still a lot of fun. And especially with the PC version, I actually modded the fishing oh, to make it to easier. To make it not awful. Nobody yeah. teaches you how to fish, by the way. No. It's just like this horrible UI that I still don't understand. <laughs> and I, I'm not looking forward to I'll teach finishing. You. I'll teach Please. you how to fish. <laughs> Please do. It's okay. Oh, I feel better now. Um... I actually, it does need a bit of a tutorial to teach you how to fish. It does. Mm. But There's I, one guy I, going, I actually do. Once you work it out, I do actually don't mind that mechanic. Mm -hmm. I'm just terrible at it. It's... Like trying to get the fish to stay in the bar. Mm. I just can't do it. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what I thought I'm doing, but am I also winding? Oh and, and even when you have the best rod, the best lure, it's still a challenge oh. with some of the fish. Especially the legendaries. Some of They're the legendaries super are catch. super hard. So mm -hmm. in every season, there's a legendary. Okay. Um, <laughs> but they are worth like a significant amount of gold. Mm. Do you so. sell them or do you keep them? I kept them because I kept one of every fish. It's like a Pokedex. Yeah, mm. yeah exactly. You keep so one I, of taught, I taught it that way. Yeah. I, I, I kept, and also there's an achievement where you actually have to, well, you kind of do have to sell mm. them because there's an achievement where you have to actually put one of every sellable item in the bin next to your house. I think they changed right. it on the Switch. Oh, they did change it yeah, on the Switch. Yeah, with um, all your food you grow, you do with that, but all the fish and everything else, like the minerals you collect as well, they just automatically go in there. So I know that I didn't sell any of my fish that I caught because I haven't caught that many, but they were actually in my log to say that you've caught them. I had caught them, yeah, without oh, okay. having to sell them. Well, that's nifty. Oh, they'll go into your log, but there's an actual achievement. Oh. There's an achievement, oh, to, achievement sell to sell one of oh, everything. So okay. if you actually go through the achievements, oh. there is okay. actually one okay. um, <laughs> to sell one of everything. So, um, yeah, that's that's what happens when yeah. you've invested like 700 hours in that game. Yeah. So I've been struggling. One, I didn't realize the um, the seasons were only a month long. Mm -hmm. mm. So that caught me by surprise. I'm thinking this is only the first month. It surely is like three months to which, a season. Which, nope. which means mm. you've got to play it for longer to get back to that season. Yeah. You have to Thankful. plant your crops like on the first day. Yeah. So you yeah, get you lots do. to grow. Oh yep. God, yep. Some and you have to plan out. summer are like 16, 17 days to mm. do anything. I'm like, that's the whole season. So but make sure you crops. plant lots of blueberries. They right. give you lots of money pumpkins, in summer. Pumpkins okay. are what mm. you want. Pumpkins in fall, make the yeah. most catch. <sighs> so anyway, I, I was really struggling with my time management for a while because yeah, at one point okay. it took me all my energy just to water my... Yeah. yeah so <laughs> but Then I started eating stuff because I wasn't doing that. Yeah. I've only just started eating so I can get more done in a day. Um, I find that's the only gripe I have with it. I love everything about it, but it's 
the days are very short. Um, so if you're not, if you don't have a plan from the beginning, mm. yeah. you kind of waste, waste a day. Wait, wait till you do the dungeon exploring. Mm. Uh, I've started that too. Yeah. yeah. In the mines and 15 down and it's like, yeah, well that's got to be a whole day. So yeah. I want things watered and, yeah. and the done. first sprinklers are useless. Yeah, I know. You need to get the upgraded oh, ones so they water out. some more. Uh, early game, mm. the best way I found for cash was to actually, you fix the bridge at the yep. beach. Yep. That. Yep. And I've never get, been back. Yeah, and yeah. you just farm that stuff. Yep. Right. And that, that's how you get your cash and while well, you start building yourself up and don't worry so much about farming, mm. worry more. I See, for me, I don't I don't farm a hell of a lot in that game. I okay. mostly did the dungeon, dungeon, dungeons, um, and fishing and the beach and then only farmed enough for extra cash and to do the little things in the community center yeah so i've um yeah i'm I'm focusing on the community center at the beginning of the month this season beginning of the season so that i can know what i'm grabbing yeah get it out of the way get the get the prize for that i want to unlock that i like that um i haven't been you know uh doing any kind of social interaction like I know you're supposed to like make people like you and stuff. Yeah, and... make sure you give them gifts on their birthday as well, because oh, that gives you a lot of hearts. I was like, Lewis, yep. it's yep. your birthday. It's like double. And he's like, yep. oh. I'm like, mm-hmm. So, and he didn't I, I just yeah. use a guide for that and find yeah. out what their best gifts is yeah. to give them, right. and if I have one, I'll give them that. So yeah. I don't even know where Shane hangs out. Like he's the one. Yeah, uh, he want. works at the Chosha Mart, so he's there yeah. a lot. Uh, mm. Okay. Yep. Right. Or and when he's not working there, he's at the pub. Yep. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes. Right. He's my kind of guy. There you go. Uh, um, straight to the pub up. So, yeah, it's... There's a lot to do in that game. It's mm. it's really well thought out and I really do enjoy it. But there are some bits that can be a little bit tedious. Um, I'm and worried the, if I'm worried that after Odyssey comes out, I'm not going to go back to yeah, it. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking as well. That's fair. And I know, like, I'll Stardew make Valley you come back out, when, it going back multi- golf story. when it becomes multiplayer. Yeah. I'll make you come back. Yeah, that'll be fun, mm. actually. That'll be really yep. good. Um, well, while I go look for Shane at the pub, <laughs> um, let's get back to the show. I also really like Shane because he gets a chicken that he plays with when you marry him. He just has a chicken and he just holds this chicken during the day. I think that's natural. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say anything about it being right. <laughs> <laughs> the Bitpad, welcome back to it. It's Halloween and Dr. Mario has been doing sick experiments on Nintendo characters. It's time to play Dr. Mario Stein. Name the six characters that have been stitched together to form this living abomination. Bruce, you can go first. Okay. Oh, Oh, wow. Okay. Um, I feel we've got uh, that, well. A point for each part. uh, That that big, that big nose is Wario. Wow, it gives a Wario. Wow! Wario, correct. Um, We've got, they've got to be some Bowser horns in the back. Bowser is in there too. He's also got his like, Chin, like cheeks. Yeah, um, like, yeah. Tongue has boo? It is. Boo? I'll give you that. It's King Boo's tongue. Yeah. Yep, you're correct. The eyes are that little white block. That little right cube thing. No. No? No, we'll leave the eyes to okay. Nat to steal later. Mm-hmm. Um, and the hat. Who has a blue hat? Mm, pass that over to... Is it a Pikmin? It is not. Three out of six. Nat, what can you pick? Um, I think the hat is Magic Cooper from Kamek. It is, it yeah. is yeah. correct. Yeah. The eyes to me look like Bomberman. No, they're Toad's eyes. Oh, oh they're Toad's eyes? They're creepy. Yeah. Mm. And the last feature? I'm not sure what's been missed either. That stash. Mario <laughs> stash. Let's check yeah. them out. Da, 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 da. Kind of creepy. It is creepy. Mm. Nat, here's another All walking right. abortion. Oh, oh wow. wow. Six people. Okay, so we've got Toadette's hair. Yes, her little, um, her little pink ponytail. Ponytail. Pink pink yeah. Yep. Um, we've got Yoshi's cheek. Yes. Oh, that's Donkey Kong's head. Donkey bits. Kong's little cowlick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm 
not sure whose ear that is. Link, maybe? It's not Link's. Bruce, you can think about that for the steel. No idea whose eyes they are either. Birdo? Birdo is correct. Oh, yeah, nice. Birdo's. Nice work. Oh. Yeah. The nose is... Nose. Cooper? It is Cooper's okay. nose. Bruce, those ears. They're not Waluigi's ears. They're Waluigi's ears. Wow. Nice work. I thought they were like elf ears. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I initially thought Link too. Wow. That is an abortion. It is. That was gross. Uh, so let's, <laughs> let's play something much less visually disturbing. <laughs> it's still spooky though. Dying in a video game is always accompanied with a shameful death song. Brucey, you'll go first. Five death tunes will play. <laughs> I'll give you one hint off the top. Uh, just remember this is Odyssey Day. So Mario might feature quite a bit. <laughs> I, I, to be honest, I actually struggled distinguishing a couple of those mm -hmm. towards the end. Some of them, some of them are hard. Um, uh, how many do you think you got? Well, I got three and then I kind of lost where I was. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll hear them again. But uh, Bruce. Um, the first think? one I think is Zelda. It is Zelda 2. A Link, Adventure of Link, nice work. Um, Mario World? It is Mario World! Mm. Well done. Mario 64. Mario 64 is correct. You're nailing it. And the two you lost, let's have a listen. <laughs> One of those is Galaxy. No. No? One was Banjo-Kazooie. Banjo-Kazooie. Yep. Yeah. And, and the last, the last one. one was Mario Sunshine. It is Mario Sunshine. Sunshine. Nice work. Nat, here is a pencil. Thank you. Let's see if I can write with gloves on. Yeah, this, <laughs> this will be fun. Princess Peach doesn't do much writing. Uh, she not. just uh, is di it, dictated is, to uh, a Lakidu. Mm. This is why she's oh, she giving gets a toad to do everything. Yeah. Mm. This is why she, she gives you those crappy cupcakes sometimes, because you make her actually do work. Yeah. <laughs> uh, here they are. think you went? Uh, I think I got a couple. A couple is all you need. <laughs> it was definitely a Mario one. Yep. Ooh. Uh, Super Mario Bros. It is. There's yep. no mistaking yep. those lack of bits mm -hmm. in, the, in that yeah. tune. Next. Uh, second one was Donkey Kong Country. It was. Mm -hmm. yeah. Correct. Little Diddy getting a little poke. <laughs> third. Um, I don't think I've got the third. Brucey for the steel. Oops. That was Goldeneye, uh, 007, yeah. N64. Yeah. Fourth? Ah, uh, what's Luigi's Mansion? Luigi's Mansion, correct. And mm -hmm. finally... Uh, the last one was a Zelda? Yeah, which uh, one though? Um, not sure. Brucey, do you know which one? Play it again. Yes. <laughs> Is that a link to the past? It is not. That was... Breath of the Wild? Breath of yeah. the Wild. <laughs> Yay! Hooray! <laughs> Despite that, we're all still alive. So, it's time to get spooky again Ooh. with... Zombie Amiibo Anatomy! <laughs> <laughs> Identify these zombified Amiibos oh, for points. God. A warning. The images we're about to show may frighten some viewers. <laughs> <laughs> Zombified amiibo. <laughs> Brucey. That is terrible. Um, Correct. <laughs> Have some points. <laughs> uh, is that Bowser? It is Bowser. Oh Ooh, no, geez. Luigi. Oh, these are legitimate Le -le custom <laughs> made amiibos. Custom <laughs> wow. amiibos. You oh, that's sick. terrifying. <laughs> Sicken me. Brucey again. Um, 
Oh, hang on. Then, yeah, Warrior? I think it oh. is. And yeah. he's just chowing down on some, for an extra point. <laughs> Nat, got a clue who he's eating? Sonic? It is Sonic. Yeah. 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 Our next one. Oh, now. Oh, that's um, Yan Yoshi. It is the unmistakable loose eyeball of a Yan oh. Yoshi. Oh. <laughs> that's horrifying. That's nasty. Oh. Isn't it? That shouldn't happen. Mm -mm. Gross. Here's another one. Yeah. <laughs> his face is gone. I, and he's taken a <laughs> shot to the chest as well. That's the, um, is that the fox one? <laughs> it is the fox one. The star fox. <laughs> Oh, the Star Fox one. <laughs> Here's another one. This one's oh, yeah. Is that or, is that an inkling? It mm. is. Inkling girl. Ooh. It's a bit scary. I mean, they should do a Halloween special over one weekend and have all the. I'm sure they're going to be doing a Halloween special for the Splatfest. The Splatfest, but that, that is not going to be it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next. Ooh, Ooh that's Peach. Princess Peach. It is Princess Peach, <laughs> and brace yourselves, guys. Oh. I'm glad that's not how you came today. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we may have not opened the door. <laughs> Fair enough. That's terrifying. Next. Oh. Oh, yeah. Let's see. That. <laughs> it's a bulbous eye. That, that, that is a bulbous eye that's rolled back. That looks like a jigglypuff. <laughs> it does look wow. like one. That's horrifying. Imagine that singing you to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I will never sleep again. <laughs> no. <laughs> Next. It, oh, great. It's skeletal. It's not skeletal. Guys. That's what I was going to say. It's going to buzz in and say skeletal. Um, this is one you've probably never seen the actual face of. Oh, yeah. Is it Boo? It is not Boo. It's Meta Knight. Oh. Uh, that one was really put, hard. Put was. your mask back on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Oh. That's, that's very graphic. That, mm -hmm. I apologise. That it's is... like the predator. That is... Uh, uh, We're all stunned by how horrific that one is. That is... Pikachu. Oh, that is awful. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's... That's... Oh. That, that's awful. <laughs> <laughs> that's already going. That's, that's awful. Let's it's just hope he doesn't one. appear in Pokemon Go. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is your last one. Brucey. If you can guess this messed up zombified. Is that Deeks? It is not Deeks, it's Toad. Oh, oh my oh, god! Goodness. He's really got that, the, the Last of Us thing going there, hasn't he? I yeah. don't think I'm sleeping tonight. No. <laughs> that was a terrifying round. <laughs> Wasn't it? Points are so last season. So I'll I'll get round to them when they come back in fashion. It's right so after this break. <laughs> That was awful. You didn't like that? No, I just... no. <laughs> no, just no. Let's skip to Christmas. We invite Nat on the show. Alright, Nat, come, come have a look at the show. Look at all this awful shit. Yeah. That was pretty horrible. I found on the internet. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Awful. What yeah. must people think to do that to their own? No, right? Room? That's... Mm, oh. Some of them were really good. That mm, toy one was... Pretty brutal. That's a lot of work. It was. Mm. Uh, let's jump into our mailbag. Uh, Suburban yeah. SB say, asks, with recent revivals of some video game franchises, what game series would you love to see a revival of? I think I know your answer. Oh. And Move it's not on. Secret of Mana, because that's already happening, but I, I reckon I know yours. Game series or just game? Just game. Well, it's pretty obvious, isn't it? It's Pokemon Snap. It's Pokemon Snap. I've written it on there. You, yep. I mean, all this photo taking in games. I know. Where's, where's Where the hell is Pokemon, Pokemon Snap? Snap? <laughs> it could be an AR game as well, just straight to iOS. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Yeah, I'd be happy with it on the phone. Mm. Nah, it needs to be on a console. It needs to be on Switch. And Secret of Mana on Switch. Not, none of mm. this putting it on Steam and then having terrible voiceovers. It's pretty bad. I've heard more of it, by the way. Oh. Yeah, you now understand. <laughs> it's pretty dreadful. You understand my anger. And their faces don't move either. No. Ow. They're just like... And they've speaking. literally just remastered it and put a voiceover over the top of it. So That's they stand terrible. there and it's like... And the music isn't remastered at all. It's just the same 16-bit yeah. music, which is great. It doesn't, yeah. There's something going wrong with it. I'm not happy. And the menu system's still crap. So 
I'm not playing that with Spud. Uh, do you have a game that you would like to see revived? Um, one of my favourite games is The Illusion of Time. The Illusion mm. of Time? Yep, and Soul Blazer and Terranigma. Okay. I'd like to see them all come Re back. Re yeah, yeah. Mm. Definitely get into those. Um, mine, Street Gangs. Street Gangs. I love Street Gangs. And I know they got a, 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 a new game, Tokyo oh. City something. Uh, I don't know what it's called. But it's I on the 3DS either. and I was very excited about it. But then the Switch came out and I was like, meh. Put it on the switch, then I'll care. But street gangs in, in, in three dimensions, but still a side scroller mm. would be really nice. River City Ransom, if you don't know what I'm talking about, we call it street gangs here because that's how we roll. <laughs> because that's what it is. Yes, this is, that's what it's actually called. Eric Fullerton asks, "Does video game addiction really exist?" Nat, no, thoughts? I don't no. think so. No. no, I think. What about those people who play World of Warcraft until they die? Or well, like that person that played a thousand hours of Minecraft on the Switch. Did he die? No, I don't think so. Oh. I think he's still alive. He's pretty addicted though, wouldn't you say? No, oh, that's true. Well, if you've got nothing else to do with your time, why not? <laughs> nothing better to do with your life. <laughs> exactly. And, um, you know, I, I got, I've got i been addicted to some things. Breath of the Wild oh, yeah. Yeah, did fun. my head in mm. for 165 hours, mm. but I loved it. Mm. Um, and I, you could say I was kind of addicted to it. It wasn't like... I not needed it every day. Not going to bed. Yeah. Just constantly playing it. I just played it. Well, this is to some people who cut holes in seats. And Ooh. then they don't have to move anywhere for any reason. That's a, that's a problem. Yeah, that addiction. is. addiction. That's probably just issues. Yeah, I think so. Yep. <laughs> just some mental problems there. <laughs> Bruce, I guess it depends on how you define addiction. I yeah. mean, if you mm. look at kids this day, day and age, um, I think video game addiction is a thing. Yep. Yeah. Because you've just got to judge by the way they behave when you take when it you away. When you take it away. That's mm. right? and, it, and it may not necessarily be just the video game, but maybe technology in general with all this oh, yeah. mobility and mm. stuff like that. Yeah. iPads. Great distraction. Consoles. It's a great distraction. Quite dependent on them. But when you take it away, you check out the behavior and see how they behave. Yeah. Um, so I think it is a thing. Um, I think it wasn't so much a thing when we were young. No. At least when I was young. Um, you know, you could play. And I think maybe that's because you couldn't save your game. <laughs> yeah, that was it. You could, like once it's off, quick. that's it. You, 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 mm. you go and start again. Mm. Yeah, so I, I think video game is, uh, addiction is a thing. I think it's slowly getting worse. I think what you were talking about, about our age like we could play video games a long time but i i see it as a different it's just another form of entertainment right so if you're playing yeah. a game for mm. two or three hours it's no different to going to see lord of the rings yeah. you know you, it's just entertainment in a different way it's, it's when you're playing for 10 hours non-stop every day and we didn't have games that you could play that, for that, for that long. long like yeah. mmos didn't mm. exist well yeah. sorry ultima and stuff did exist but you and i think we're half to blame because you know you play a game for two hours your parents used to come in and go like get out Stop. and take your power cable <laughs> yeah yeah whereas nowadays it's like as you said before it's more of a distraction mm. it's like here have this so that i can go play this <laughs> yeah i think an easy an easy test is like you said with kids how do they respond when you take it away if yeah. it's adverse discipline. i think <laughs> no 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 it doesn't need to be disciplined yes, but it does. I, no, no it, it just needs you, to be management. You just need to evaluate Time how management. often they're playing yeah. it. And, mm. you know, it might turn into something like, you know, iPad free day. Yeah. And, and if, you're, like if you're older and you have to manage your time yourself, just see what else is suffering. If your social life is suffering should, or if your work is suffering, yeah. then maybe you've got issues and you need to manage your time again. I think mm. you should go see somebody because you've got problems. <laughs> you've got big problems. Uh, just log out of WoW. <laughs> Why are people still playing it? I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, jump on facebook.com slash the bit pad and ask us any questions you like. We promise we'll answer them before the end of the year. <laughs> That's our promise. We did promise a Q&A show, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. Good times. Back to the show. It's the bit pad. Welcome back to it. We are all on the highway to hella good times. <laughs> you like that? Shifting gears straight into Bruce versus the world. 95 
to 91 in Brucey's favour this week. Ooh, it's getting close. Mm. Uh, as Nat Eric from Nintendo by Numbers, your other half, just scraped into second place on he his race. He did because he was too busy reading his puns. Yes, yeah. that's to his concentrate. excuse. Wow. That, that's his excuse, and we'll let him have that. <laughs> two, two, two questions. How do you think you'll go? I think I'll go pretty well. And do you have puns? Do no, have puns. no, oh. I leave the puns to Eric. <laughs> He's the pun master. <laughs> Take my gloves off for this one. Oh, it's on. The gloves are off. Coming off. <laughs> <laughs> so it makes sense. Brucey is Wario and Nat is Peeps. And they're off. Oh, Peach with a oh. rocket start. Brucey did standard start. <laughs> no, I actually went in. It, when you rewatch that, I actually went in reverse at the start. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it's got something to do with playing too much Stardew Valley. It makes sense. Brucey with the red shell. Who are you saving that for? Ooh. Uh, just past Link. Somebody. I think Nat's got this this week. Nat. I think so. Nat, I mean, you're only 30 seconds in, Bruce, and you've already given up. <laughs> She's got it. It's hers. Nice. Still early days some... yet. It is three red shells, one for dry bars. No, no, don't save them for me. One uh, behind. Ooh, oh. just missed that. We're firing oh, one no. off to Nat. Oh, no, come on. Give me something good. Ooh, banana. Banana good. for safety. Yep. Just in the nick of time. <laughs> Lightning bolted. Bruce, what you got up your sleeve, item-wise? Just a mushroom. Dude. Mushroom. Oh, help no. close that gap. Disappointing. Matt, pulling ahead with all these. You've got the speed slide down. I do. There's plenty of space in this course to rack them up as well. As you hit max coins. <laughs> Bruce, with the nano behind. Straight out with the red oh, shell. Oh no, that's gonna hit me. It's gonna hit you this mm -hmm. time. There's no escaping nope. this one. It's all right, I don't oh, hit you. Oh, you Bruce got hit too, so it basically <laughs> balances karma. out. Bruce is right on the fringe of the pack as well, so he's going to get those items while Nat no, no, has a gets substantial coins. lead in Coin City. Mm. <laughs> the only things in your way is these cows. Yeah, oh, that were easy to pass. <laughs> Now Brucey has to deal with them. Whoa! Oh, using the brakes there, Brucey. Another coin. Smashed by another red shell. Dry Bones wants second place. He wants it. Oh, he's got it. He had it. I feel like I'm going really slow. What CC are we doing? 150. Oh. Yay! First place, Nat. An easy win. <laughs> Was an easy win. I attribute it to my reversing and <laughs> crashing into corners. <laughs> <laughs> and nice work, Brucey. Still second place. The world, 106. Oh. Brucey, 107. Got to keep it oh. close. <laughs> so close. That's yeah. halfway through the series, and it's so tight the way we like it. Now it's time for a last jump into points. The speed run. Time is on the clock, and it starts. Now, which Super Mario Brothers game references The Legend of Zelda? Oh, yeah. Three. It is Mario Brothers 3. The warp whistle plays the doo 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 doo, -doo, 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 -doo sound. Mm. Believe me, it's true. In Mario games, how do you stop booze from attacking you? <coughs> Nat. Uh, by looking at them. You look at them. Squaw in the eyes. True or false, Mario Brothers 3 was released in Japan two years before. Oh, yeah. It is true. It is true. Because I made it there, mm -hmm. I guess. How many Koopalings are there? Nat? Uh, seven. There are seven. And what are their names? Oh. I'll point each, Nat, if you get these. Let's All go. right, we've got Wendy. Yes. Morton. Yes. Iggy. Yes. Um, Ludwig. Yes. What's his name? Roy. Roy. Yep. Um, Bruce Evans Steel. Larry. Yes. Oh, yep, yep. And Lemmy. Larry uh, and Lemmy is correct. Two L's. True or false, the original names for Mario, Peach and Bowser were Jumpman, Pauline and King Cooper. Nat. True. It is false. I tricked you. Pauline was Mario's first girlfriend. <laughs> she was. <laughs> Pauline was Mario's first girlfriend and returns again in Super Mario yes. Odyssey. What new ally does Mario have in Super Mario Odyssey? Nat. Cappy. It is Capitan. El Capitan. El Capitan. I'm going to call him El Capitan. <laughs> what is the name of the city that Pauline is the mayor of, Nat? New Donk City. It is New Donk City. And that's time! Oh, look how fast that was. That was great. That's how a speed run should be. <laughs> speed. Points at the end of that. Brucey, 27 points. Mm -hmm. And Nat wins this one. 34 points. Nice! Woo! That's great, it means Nintendo by numbers keep their dream Me alive. Yeah. <laughs> they keep the dream alive. Maybe you should stop leaving Peach and Castles from now on. Oh. Yeah, okay. <laughs>
<laughs> Maybe it'll be the other way around. The next game will be Peach goes to rescue Mario. Isn't that what happened in Super Princess Peach? Oh! oh. I know she's super emotional. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not real, it's not a real game. And she was super emotional in it. That was her powers. To, the power of female emotion. Oh god. Don't know how I feel about that. As a, I don't remember that. Yeah, that she was like, she got really angry. Like oh. her super power ups were really angry, she really sad. Really, <laughs> she had a an umbrella. She did. That's the only bit you play. Umbrella! <laughs> And that's our spooky show for today. The BitPad is everywhere. You can find us on facebook.com slash the BitPad. And you can support the show on patreon.com slash the BitPad and get the show in its extended deluxe version a few days early. And you know what they say, Nat? Uh, no. A thank you so much for to playing my game. <laughs> that was pretty good. Happy birthday. <laughs> you know who you are. We'll see you on the internet. Bye. It's not, it's not a real cappy, because <laughs> that's the camera.